Hey everyone, Michelle McCarthy here from Homeschooling in the Pines. Welcome back to my channel. What I have for you all today, I want to talk to you guys a little bit more about how to implement the Brave Writers lifestyle in your home. I talked to you guys about a month ago about the Brave Writers calendar that, that came out for the 2018 school year. And in where, and I have it right here, in where uh, Julie Boga from Brave Writer wants to concentrate each month or showing us and, and, and you're keeping us accountable on how to, you know, and implementing the Brave Writers lifestyle things in our school day or in our school, you know, month, week, or just incorporating into our school, into our home, basically. So the first thing this month, it is read aloud. So I want to talk to you guys about reading aloud to your kids, about how important it is, give you some ideas that Julie Bogers have given us and just give you a couple things that I'm doing with my kids to read out loud more at home. And so I just want to talk to you all about So reading out loud is really important. It's the most important thing that you can do with your kids. Um, make sure that you're reading out loud to your children every day, especially from the beginning, from when they're babies, all the way from they're in high school. It's okay to read to your kids they, that are in high school. They might not think that they want you to read to them, but I think they do enjoy them. Okay, it's so that reading a lot to your children helps you um, create that bond with your children starting at an early age. You know, starting from birth. Um, your children learn so much just by you reading aloud to them. The, you know, just just reading aloud to your children just brighten their, their 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 learning, their understanding, and they can learn so much just by you reading to them. Okay, I'm looking here at some notes, so make sure I don't miss anything. Okay, so it is it is one is the most, one of the most important things that you can do with your children. I have talked about this before. If one day you're having a bad day and all you do is read aloud to your kids, you're having a good day, okay? Make sure every day you get your read aloud in if that's all you get done for your school day, okay? Because I know sometimes we might have hard days and just reading and sitting down and listening might be the only thing you get done and that's so, so important. Think about, you know, you reading to your kids but also your kids reading to you. All, all the benefits that your kids get from you, they, they, you reading to them, they get so many benefits from them reading aloud to you or to their siblings, okay? They, they increase a bond with you, with their siblings, with their friends. Some kids like to read to their pets. Um, it, improves their, their, it improves their fluency. By improving their fluency, it, it, can, it improves, it helps improve their reading comprehension. So also have your kids read aloud to you. What kind of things... Should your kids be reading to you? What kind of things should you be reading to your kids? Read nonfiction books, read fiction books, read poetry books, read books about how to do something, read recipes, okay? There's so many things that you can read to your children and try to vary it through, through, the, school, through the school week, through the school day, what the kind of things you're reading to your kids. Uh, one of the, you know, some of the many ideas that Julie Bogart uh, has been giving us is like when you go out, read street signs with your kids, read billboards, you know, help, have them help you read a recipe, okay? Um, there's so many things that you can do to read out loud, to practice that reading out loud. My daughter, she likes to play video games with my husband and I, you know, I don't sit with them and play and, and you know play too much but I hear I listen to them play and I hear her reading out loud a lot of some some of the games that she's been playing it follows a story and they, it, it gives you a little you know pop up and you know where you have to read and I hear her reading out loud that's reading out loud even if it's from a video game you can learn so much just by playing a video game or reading so don't limit what you can read to your kids and when your kids can read to you okay so Try this month to find different things that you can read with your kids. If you're not used to reading nonfiction, maybe this month you'll be like, I want to read some nonfiction books. Find something that your kids are interested in and get some books. Get some books that are easier that they can read to you and some that are at a higher level that you can read to them. Okay, there's just a big, big, uh, so big, big opportunity of different books that you can read to your children. Okay. 
So uh, what I've been doing this month, I've been adding, I added a lot of uh, different read aloud books to my book basket and I will share those. I already, I made a video and I, I will put that on top so you can see the kind of books that I got reading this month. But I added some books, you know, the, one of the books that we're reading this month for, and I've shared this with you already, is Johnny Tremaine. American Revolution. So I've been getting all these books about the American Revolution, and I've been doing uh, picture books. And those picture books are a little bit easier. I know my, you know, my daughter is is eleven, but she, you know, struggles a little bit with you know fluency. So I've been having her read those picture books to me, and she's learning a lot more about the American Revolution. Today we read a book about Jackson Pollock. So there you go, art. Art appreciation and learning about a different artist. I have some books. Last week we read a book about a uh, a Akiak, I think it was called, about a sled dog, and she just read that to me. So one of the things that we're also doing this month, forgot to mention, we're participating in the 30 day read aloud challenge with uh, the read aloud revival with Sarah McKenzie. So I'm having her read to me every day where she reads to her brother, her, you know, her little brother. So, but I want to keep this, I want to keep this, you know, doing this after the month of the read aloud challenge. I'm going to add some books in my morning basket, easier books that she can read out loud from different genres, things that she's interested in, uh, artists, musicians, uh, just add those things in there so she can read to me and I can read some extra things to her, not just things that we have been reading aloud, okay, uh, for, for school, okay. Also, a couple more things, make sure you change the, the setting where you're reading out loud. Read out loud in, you know, sometimes read in front of the fire. We are read out loud in your room. Go to the room and read. Go outside, go to the park, go to the library, go to the coffee shop. Just find different places to go read with your kids and just enjoy that time with them. Okay, so I just want to let you know a lot of these ideas of things I'm talking to you about are my own the things that I'm doing, but also things that I've been getting from Julie Borger from Brave Writer because this is what she's concentrating on for the month of January. She's going to be concentrating on um, on reading. She's you know concentrating on reading aloud as one of the Brave Writer's lifestyles lifestyle things. Um, so make sure every month I'm going to come in here and talk to you all about the things that I'm doing. You know, for for the brave right to incorporate the brave writer's lifestyle lifestyle in my home, but I will post below. Uh, you can find Julie uh, at in um, Instagram, and she gives tons of ideas. So make sure you follow her. You can follow me on Instagram also because I post a lot of the things that I do with the kids. I post in there, and I post things in my Facebook page. And make sure you follow Brave Writer uh, the the Facebook. You can go into their website. So there are so many things that you can all do to read aloud more and more to your children. Our, my, my reading aloud has increased so much since the beginning when we started uh, two years, three years ago in homeschooling to now, and now I'm incorporating the Brave Writers lifestyle. So I read aloud is, I feel like all I do all day is read aloud to my kids and that's great for science, social studies, everything. So, so yes. So this is it. I just want to share with you. I want it to be quick, but I just get excited and I talk a lot about the things that I love and I'm excited about. So every month I'm going to come in here and I'm going to share the same uh, Brave Writer lifestyle element that Julie's going to be sharing with, with the calendar. I'm going to be sharing with you all ideas of things that she's giving us, things that I'm doing or things that I want to do. And next month is enjoying television and movies. So I'm really excited about that because we love films and we love television. Okay, so I hope this was helpful. Let me know if you if you are start reading out loud to your children. Do you know different things with your kids? What kind of books are you reading? What kind of things are you gonna try this month that you haven't read before? Let let me know in the comments below. We'd love to hear from you. Okay, again, my name is Michelle McCarthy from Homeschooling in the Pines, and I will see you soon.